Dramatic moment Ukraine blitzes Russian base with infrared drone as Putin's troops are forced back to the border. Dramatic video shows the moment Ukrainian drones blitz a Russian base as Vladimir Putin's disastrous war has seen his forces pushed all the way back to the border. Footage shows the moment bombs, dubbed by Ukrainian commanders as letters of happiness, fall to the ground before exploding in massive balls of fire. Russian forces were blitzed in the latest victory for Ukraine. Putin had expected to roll over Ukraine in a matter of days, but instead his forces have found themselves pushed all the way back into Russia. Ukrainian troops have been fighting tooth and claw as they defend their country against the invaders, with Kyiv boasting they have killed more than 26,000 soldiers and blown up thousands of vehicles. In a statement, Ukraine's navy said, Marines continue to dispose of Russian fascist evil. And elsewhere, Ukrainian forces blew up a bridge captured by the Russians to continue to disrupt their war effort. Ukraine has been on the counterattack after Russians first invaded at the end of February as they attempted to storm towards Kyiv. Russia now claims to be focused on seizing control of eastern Ukraine, rather than attempting to take control of the whole country as it set out to do three months ago. Ukrainian troops were today pictured posing with the yellow and blue border post as they flashed the V for victory sign. We are at the border, the troops said in a message addressed to hero President Volodymyr Zelensky. Ukrainian forces blew up a railway bridge to disrupt the Russians' credit, newsflash. Ukrainian forces posed near a border post after they pushed Putin's troops back into Russia. Western military alliance NATO is now increasingly confident that Ukraine, who is not a member, can win the war after many nations have provided support and weapons. He said, Russia's war in Ukraine is not going as Moscow had planned. Russia is becoming increasingly frustrated with reports of the horrors being committed by their soldiers shocking the world amid mounting evidence of war crimes. Vlad's troops are understood to be demoralized, their equipment failing, and they face defeat after defeat, with Ukraine now littered with the bodies of Russian soldiers and the wrecks of Putin's tanks. And what Putin's botched plan has succeeded in doing is uniting much of the world against him, as Finland and Sweden are now moving closer to joining NATO. It comes as menacing mobile Iskander missiles were spotted being transported towards Russia's border with Finland. The Russian despot had warned Finland and Sweden that joining the Western alliance would be a mistake, but they have so far snubbed his grumbles. Moscow has made it clear they will suffer the consequences of joining NATO, boasting they could wipe out Finland in 10 seconds. Putin has warned of a lightning-fast retaliation if the West directly intervenes in the Ukraine conflict. The stern warning was somewhat expected in wake of their block bids, as Russia will soon be encircled by NATO territory on its western flank from the Arctic to Turkey. It's understood that both countries have been spooked by Mad Vlad's invasion of Ukraine and are seeking security ties with the West to fend off any aspirations by Russia to invade. Finland, which shares an 830-mile border with Russia, announced its hopes of securing NATO membership after remaining militarily non-aligned for 75 years. But Russia claimed the country joining the transatlantic alliance would harm bilateral ties. Now in a stunning show of unity, 15,000 troops from 14 NATO countries will today conduct a huge military drill in the Baltics. Finnish and Swedish soldiers will join in the exercise dubbed SEAL or Hedgehog today, which will take place just 40 miles from the nearest Russian base. Just months ago, the historically impartial nations, Finland and Sweden, considered joining the alliance a distant prospect. But Putin's horrific invasion of Ukraine has prompted them both to rethink their security needs and seek safety in a group they stood apart from during the long Cold War.